What's up, guys? Kiko Lee here, and um, you know, if uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys might have noticed that um, I haven't made a video in a while. Well, that's because I have been on my this world for quite some time now, about like two to three weeks. Um, yep, and um, this is my survival world, and um, it's pretty new, but still pretty good. I'm in creative right now, if you didn't notice yet. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you a little tour of what I've been doing around here because this, I've been doing this for a pretty long time. And I can sh I will tell you guys why I made this server in the first place. Okay? Uh, so if I go into here, this is my house. Looks nice. Um, yep. I've got all the stuff right here. I have a lot of iron, redstone, and lapis. Some, some, even some diamonds. Um, uh, all of these furnaces are full with coal. All of them. It's uh, eight all together. This is my little bedroom right here. Okay. And um, the reason why I made the server is because recently, like two or three weeks ago, I watched Seth Bling's World Tour. I think it was like two or three weeks ago. I'm not really not sure, but um. Yeah, I watched that, and um, inspired me to make this um, world. Uh, let me just turn it to daylight real quick. But the thing is, he has some of the stuff that I've made before. I've used um, this uh, farm right here, and this farm on my previous survival world. But those worlds weren't as good as this one, because I actually found a village. Um, here's a cactus farm that he used. Um, I also use this as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I have my farm right here. Cows, sheep, and pig, and chicken. I did steal this from uh, Seth Bling, the, the egg thing, but I don't know why these don't just spawn any eggs at all. Um, anyway, I also did not, did not, I did not steal this cocoa farmer from him or the Sugar King farm. Like I told you before, I used these on my previous survival worlds. So, um, over here is my villager farm. Um, they think this is uh, their village because there's so much doors around here. So they don't really hang or out in the this village anymore. So that's why I have this little barrier around here. Um, and I have an outside barrier just so that, like, uh, Zombies don't get in and kill all my villagers because I'm pretty paranoid on like pretty annoyed, paranoid about my villagers, you know, I like to trade with them and all that stuff So it's a pretty big barrier so you can kind of imagine How long it took me to get on all, all this stuff and how long I've been playing What's that? Is that a sheep? Yeah, it's a sheep um, Okay, so uh, I also have a mining house. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you something um I have enough villagers to spawn in like four iron golems. So let's see if there are any iron golems around here. Iron golems. No. Yes. No. No. Well, that's how I farm all my iron. Um. Yeah, I, uh, I, ooh, lag. Lags. Yeah, so basically I just find some iron golems and kill them with my iron sword. Um, I know, like, it uh, decreases the durability by a lot, but the iron golems drop like three iron ingots, so by profit I get one iron, iron ingot each time. And plus there's like four uh, iron golems at a time, so um, yeah. And this, the iron can kill up to like five or six iron golems, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, let's go to my mining house, which is basically this house. I just, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go in here. Hopefully it'll be less laggy in here because Okay, so I will also fill up these furnaces with coal. There's nothing in these chests right now because I haven't started mining a lot yet. So if we go down here. Almost there. Oh, okay, we're here. Okay, so to the left and to the right, I have two strip mine bases for my diamonds, 
as you can see, I have not started on them yet. Um, yeah. Um, man, I just lost my iron sword. Oh, I'll get that back later. Um, yep, all these furnaces are filled up with coal as well. So, you, yeah, like I said before, you, you can imagine how much I've been mining and stuff like that. Um, these chests are all empty because I haven't actually gone to mining yet. Same idea, same concept on this side as well. I I filled these up with coal, and there's nothing in these chests. So um, yeah. Um. So one more thing is I'm gonna show you the mechanics on all in my villager farm and how they actually get to the center of the village and out of that fence. So what happens is. As you can see, there are, there's water flowing into these holes right here, and there's one for each corner, and um, these holes flow uh, all the way around here, and they go, oh, lag, 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 they all flow right to here, um, so, uh, yeah, you see the little path coming over here, so they just swim up and go to the center of the village. But the thing is, they just they just go to here. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, okay, so uh, let me just get a villager egg real quick, and I can show you what happens. So let's go to the farthest path. This is the longest path that villagers will take. So they'll be flowing. Let me just put a villager. They'll be flowing. A piston will come down and push them into the next water source, like so. This is oh, this is, that was another corner. Let me show you. That was another corner. So we just go over here again. But I really like this because it just looks like it just looks so professional and automatic and stuff. This is another corner right here, and then they just turn a corner. Gonna keep going. And then we'll go this way and that way. And then we'll go up. Alright. Ooh. Night time. Okay, so if it's night time, they'll be all crowding around right here like so. Like so. So one thing about doing is I'm going to probably like break all those doors or something like that. Well, probably when they get to here, I'll probably like set up a million doors around here. So I'll probably just like hang out around here instead of hanging all the way over there. So I, I think I'll have to count more doors and all that. Count the amount of doors and then add like more doors over here. Uh, so yeah. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video right here on top of my house. Top of my house staring at this block and I will show you all the mechanics on my villager harvester slash farm all right and here we go here we go here we go. any minute now any minute now any minute now any minute okay okay uh, sorry for stalling you guys there <laughs> but anyway here is my world for the um villager farm but as you can see this is a slightly slight just a, just slightly a bit modified um what you do in Santa water ride yeah you better get in that house go 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 now you go too That's right. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. Anyway, so. Yep, that's my, this is the villager farm. All these schematics and the outline of what it really looks like. Um, looks kind of nice. I mean, you know, like these pillars right here. But anyway, the real part is how they get harvested and all that stuff. Let me just set it to daytime so they won't be rushing back to the houses at all. Okay, here we go. So what happens is that um, um, there's no water here so 
So what what happened? They just fall right into here into this water. And they'll uh, reset their fall damage and then they'll fall into this water, and uh, they'll flow right through here. Okay, so this right here is the first path and the smallest path. It just goes straight to the uh, to the village or to the center of the village, and then. Um, this path right here leads into the first path, the third one leads into the second one, which will lead into the first one, and the fourth one will lead into the first one, and this, I don't know what this is for, you can just leave that, you don't need this part right here, uh, I just wanted to make it look symmetrical, and over here, I have the, the pushers that will push the villager into the next water source, they don't just stand here, um, okay, so uh, let me just get a villager into here. Don't you go in there. Go. Here we go. So they'll fall, they'll fall, they'll be going down. Um, they'll be going like that. Yep. They'll keep going. Oh, see, that's what, that's what I don't like. They just want to run back. They want to run back. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so that this will eventually... Yeah push them towards here into the water that will rise up another one fall? oh hey look it's a mini one mini one <laughs> they even pushed the mini one it's only like a block high wow They even push these even push the mini ones, so that's kind of good. That's pretty good. That's nice. That's nice. So that's pretty good. The village farm even works on mini villagers, so that's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what how to build these and all that crap. Um. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna build. It. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. So what we have here is a pressure plate, right here, right here, pressure plate, which is linked up. To this redstone which is connected to this repeater and these repeaters right here now the reason why these are set to different tick delays is that well first the villagers are on the stone pressure plate for as long as they get pushed so um let me just change it to wooden pressure plate real quick and then we'll just put that on there so they'll be staying there until they get pushed so that's what happens. So about for like a second. So the <clears throat> so this will send a signal through, and then this will get to them first because this um this repeater right here powers this block, which will power this sticky piston right here. So the the only way that I can actually power it is if these pistons push them down, and then push this piston down and this block down. So uh that way the piston this piston will get powered and push out that block and then once this is taken off um this will retract the block and then this will turn off which will uh, retract it back up so let me just get that as you can see this will turn off first and this will turn off last a second so let me just turn that back to a stone pressure plate okay okay so let's see I think that's pretty much it. Um, pretty effective villager farm. Just make sure you have enough doors so they can actually mate and make love and make babies. And and water that will flow into these holes. Come on, flow. No. Uh, um, go it. There we go. Here, you're going to be going. You're going to be going to that village over there. You'll be an outsider. Oh, hey, there's no. Uh... What just happened? Oh, crap, no. There we go. That works. It works out now. It works out just fine. Just fine. And if there's two villagers like that, the vill this will stop them. Like, this piston right here. If they're, like, right here, and then they're right here. This piston, when it's pushed down, it will stop the villagers from moving. And it'll retract back up, they'll press this pressure plate and get pushed forward. So, that way they don't die. 
So that's pretty much it. It's starting at night time. They're going to go all the way into their houses again. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll, I will be providing a map download for this soon. And, well, well right after this video. Um, and I'll also be providing the texture pack for you guys in case if you want it. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing else to talk about, right? Yep, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.